Hi there, I'm Justin from Workmaster and I'm here today to talk about the Scarab. We get asked a lot of questions about this machine. What is it used for? It's a very versatile machine. Uh, you can use it in small rooms, entrance ways, and pretty much anywhere is where you can't get a bigger piece of equipment into. This floor in front of us here is an epoxy coated floor. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how we can remove this epoxy and actually polish the concrete beneath it. So just before we get started, I wanted to talk a little bit about the tooling that we're going to be using to try and get this epoxy off and polish the floor. This here is our most aggressive tool that we're going to be using. It's a 16 grit diamond uh, abrasive. It's got actual commercial diamonds in it and once we put that on the floor you will see that it will remove the epoxy. Uh, after that we're going to be using a 3040 grit metal bond diamond abrasive and the idea here is to go a little bit finer each step of the way with the diamonds in order to remove the scratch marks from the previous one. So then after that we go into our 8000 metal bond diamond abrasive and then we get into our um, our hybrid tool which is actually a transition tool. The, the whole purpose of this is to get it ourselves into our resin tools and take out the tool marks from those metal tools that we were using. So it's, a, it's an aggressive resin. Um, then we get into our actual true resins, the 100, 200, all the way up to the 1500 resins. These are the tools that actually give us um, shine to the floor. And then we will also show you how to use these chemicals that you see here and some of these other things that you see in front of you. So just before we get started, I um, just want to talk about a couple of safety issues. Uh, you always want to have um, a vacuum system running into the scarab to collect the dust. It does create a lot of dust when you're grinding concrete. Uh, the other thing too I'd like to mention is always unplug the machine when you're taking tools on or off of it. Uh, it's just a good safety practice. Another thing as well, um, I will show you putting the tools onto the machine. I'll just tip it over like that. I've got some of them on there already, but these are our 16 grit diamond abrasives and they just plug right into these little holes like that <clears throat> and as you can see it's pretty easy. Uh, one last thing before we get started is always have hearing and eye protection. That's always a good safety practice. Just put these on and we're ready to go. So I have removed the epoxy, I ran the scarab around with those 16 grit tools and it seems like it's done a good job. Um, in fact there's not a lot of tool marks here that I can see uh, with my eye but what we're going to do is we're going to actually run our next grit right away which is the 3040 grit metal bond tools and the purpose behind that is we want to get out these 16 grit marks with something that is a little bit finer of a tool. So I've taken my 16 grit diamond abrasive tooling off and I'm now going to put my 3040 grit tooling on. Now I'm ready to go for my next grit. So before we continue on in this process, I want to talk a little bit about tool marks. Um, it's very important to remove the tool marks that you have made in the previous grit with the next set of tools. If you don't get those tool marks out with the next grit of tool diamond abrasive that you're using, you won't get them out at all in, in the consecutive grits beyond that. So it's very important to remove them here. So we finished cutting this floor with our metal bond tooling now. We're actually going to put the transition tools on 
which are our hybrids. They're a 50 grit, and that's what we're going to cut with now. So we're now done with the 50 hybrids and I'm going to put on our pore filler densifier combination. We're going to do that by using these 100 grit regular resins to work it into the pores. So we've done the pore filler densifier stage, um, we've let it dry on the floor and now we're going to remove it with the same 100 resins that we applied it with. So we finished the floor now, uh, we went up to 1500 grit resin and I've ran the hog's hair pads on the floor just to clean it up perfectly and we're going to actually apply our UltraGuard finish now with a microfiber and a pump up sprayer. So before we start applying the sealer we're actually going to uh, take our microfiber mop and we're going to pre-wet it just so that it doesn't actually pull uh, unevenly. like that and in this case we don't have much floor space to go so I'm actually just going to use it as is and see how it works. So I've completed putting down the UltraGuard sealer and I'm actually going to burnish it with the hog pads now and just give it a quick burnish and then we're completely done. <laughs> 